guys, my name is Jessie Desu. Thank you in advance for watching. Um, today's video is going to be very exciting for both you and me because, um, for one thing, I'm excited because this is my first unboxing video for you guys and the stuff that's inside this box is really cool. This is sent by Grumbacher. Here's a better look of the logo, Grumbacher. And they sent it to me because I am a fine arts instructor at the Michaels Craft Store. So this is just my, um, this is just my art supplies that I use to teach. And here's the little package list right here. Oops. Let's get stuck with unravel it to see what is inside my package. Hold on, let me just throw up my um, address and everything. This is the Michaels Fine Art Master Kit. And it's filled with like a ton of cool stuff. And I'm just excited to show you guys. Grumbacher makes really cool stuff for artists and they're really great quality so we're just opening this up and right away we can see all of the cool stuff that's in here plus more first thing that we see the first thing that we can grab is this this is my Grumbacher apron that I am supposed to wear each time I'm instructing I'll leave a picture up or a, I'll put like you know a picture up of myself Call it a Milo for some reason. I don't know. Next thing that I'm gonna grab from this box is this, and this is the small painting knife from Grumbacher. As you can see, the little Grumbacher right here. It's a very nice painting knife, and um, it's very comfortable. As you can see, the handle slowly transli transitions it from the thick part of the handle, and despite it being plastic, it's very good quality. It's very good if you wanna mix your paints and not overload your brushes, so it helps with that. And plus, it's easy to wash, you know. Plus, it's cheap. So, this is it, Grumbacher. I'm gonna put that to the side, and we're gonna move on to one of the more important, or some of the more important things on, in this box. Grumbacher sent me five lovely Grumbacher brushes, which is, oh my gosh, I'm very happy that I got these. And as you can see, they sent me two of the same um, brushes, which is Grumbacher size 8 brushes. I believe these are Filbert. And let's take a look at the bristles here. Let me take off the plastic caps though. Oops. There we go. There we go. There's a bit of fraying because of the packaging, but it's quite alright. Just need to brush it back into shape, you know? Very good quality brushes, um, a little insight for you guys that are um, not familiar or quite familiar to the Grumbacher um, brand. They started out like, you know, in the early 1900s and um, Grumbacher, he just, you know, started making, making, um, making paint brushes in his garage and they are very good quality so he started selling them and then his clients wanted to like you know say hey you should make paints that are the same quality as your great brushes so a little insight for you these are very great brushes as you can see they have that long slender handle a bit of a grip right here so it's great for close-up work as well as easel work as well if you guys wish so it's very versatile very good quality brushes i'm sure that these will last for a very long time these are the little grumbacher size 2 brushes that are round these are the round brushes as you can see right here let's take a look at the bristles again that's long slender um brush with the ability to work close up and the ability to work with easel bristles again with a little bit of fraying from the packaging it's quite a right nothing a little water can't fix you know they're good quality brushes great for detail work and they're very very nice to feel i love feeling brushes i don't know about you very satisfying it's a few so these are really great brushes again with the last brush Grumbacher size 2 brush. I believe this is the bright. Let's take a look. I think this one is like the most bright. So kind of fixed it a little bit. Oh no. This is still a good quality brush. Good for a little detail and work. It's like the smallest flat brush I've ever seen, but it's called a bright. It's a brighten up your day. Okay. <laughs> Next thing that we're going to get from this wonderful box of goodies are these. Now these are Grumbacher Academy acrylic paints. 
these are, I believe, three fluid ounces. They sent me 11 tubes. So I'm just gonna get these out of the box. I'm very excited to open them because, you know, I love their paint. Their paint is so, so great. It's like really good quality for a great price. And here we have a little pamphlet that shows um, other selections of paints. Lots of sets for paints that you could buy or something like that. We also have a catalog for paints. So throughout the paints that I'm going to open today, I'm going to show you where they are on this catalog. This is like, I believe, all the paints that Grumbacher makes. And um, we'll take a look at them right now. So this is the first box that I'm going to open. Let's take a look. Ooh, I'm excited. I love opening packages for some reason. They're oddly satisfying. It's like Christmas. Okay. Now, here we have Ultramarine Blue, which is one of my favorite blues to use. The one that I like more than this is Prussian Blue, which gives a little bit more of a tealish color. But then this has a more of a purple bias, I believe, which means it looks a little bit more purple than blue. So, it's a very good color, great for oceans and all that stuff. Here it is on the chart, right here. And this is what it looks like when it's white. This is the, um, the lack of, sorry, the light fastness, which means that um, how sensitive it is to light and if it will fade in light. So as you can see, it needs to have a medium and then this is the transparency or like the opacity, opacity whatever. <laughs> and this is what it looks like when it's um, mixed with white. So this is just what the layout is. So I'm just going to put this ultramarine blue to the side. We're going to go on to the next tube of paint. This is Thalo Blue. Another great blue that I love to use. I think this one has more of a yellower bias to it. So it looks a little bit more... I don't know. It's in the between Prussian Blue and ultramarine blue. It's still a beautiful hue. Still a beautiful hue. Okay, I'm gonna show you that on the chart right here. It's right next to Ultramarine Blue. They look blue. This is what it looks like when it's mixed with white. On to the next one. And here we have Cerulean Blue. Cerulean Blue, very beautiful color. There's a little bit more information on the back of these tubes. And I also forgot to show you what the paint looks like in the tube, so I'm just gonna open up. Open up real quick. Look at that. Beautiful. Very good quality paints. They don't dry oil. Well, of course, it's acrylics, so of course it's gonna dry. It's gonna dry a little bit more faster than other paints such as watercolor or oils. But oops, there's a cap still there. But they look blue. This is what it looks like in the back on but yeah these don't dry out as fast as regular acrylic paints of course they're not gonna dry, um, they're not gonna last as long as heavy bodied acrylic paints this is what ultramarine blue I don't know what that is on the packaging but it's still a beautiful color oopsie I got a little bit on my cap it's okay it's okay calm down everything's fine everything's fine calm down I got a little bit on my finger but it's okay I'm artist. I'm used to it. So I'm just gonna close this box. But yeah, these are very good paints. They won't dry out on you. Next box I'm going to open right here. And here we have Hooker's Green. Hooker's Green. Um, Hooker's Green is a great hue um, to have when you're starting out with fully. Oh my gosh! It popped out. I'm freaking out. But um, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I, I, I almost had a heart attack. Um, it's a very good green. I'd like to mix my own greens, but you know, if you can't quite mix your own greens, then you can start with Hooker's Green. I also like Sap Green. Sap Green is really great, especially when you mix it with Burnt Sienna. Um, burnt Sienna is a great color, and we'll look at it later. I'll, I'll just clean this paint that's on my carpet, that's spilled on my carpet. Oh no! Look how much paint that got on my carpet. This is a disaster. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, I just had to clean that up because I don't want it to stain. Um, 
acrylics, they're very hard to clean out out of the carpet, so um, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. Um, here we have cadmium yellow medium hue. Let's look at that tube. Here we go. I'm just not I'm not gonna even touch. I'm not even gonna squeeze it. I squeezed it anyway, but you know, it's still a beautiful color. I'm gonna show you that on the chart. Here's sap green, I don't believe. Um, not sap green, here's hooker's green, if you guys were wondering what it looked like on the chart. And then here is cadmium yellow medium hue. Okay, on to the next one. Now in this one, this is cadmium yellow light hue. So it's a little bit lighter than the previous one. So let's take a look inside. This is a beautiful color. I love using this color for sunsets and all that stuff. For skies and just like, you know, just stuff at dawn. Um, there's only two colors in here because they only gave me 11 colors. Here we have titanium white, beautiful, a beautiful white. I usually use this to mix. Grumpucker recently came out with a line of paint that is for um, specifically for mixing white. See so yeah, here, as you can see, it's new. And then this is titanium white. This is raw umber. Raw umber is great for trunks of trees and other foliage. It looks black right now, but then on the canvas, it just looks gorgeous. Let me show you that on the chart. This is what it looks like. It looks darker, but um, it's not as dark as black. On to the next. Next in the final box. Right here. Okay. Here we have cadmium red light hue. Look inside the tube. Great color. I love the pigment on this paint. It's so good. Especially on the canvas. It really shows through your work. Um, they don't have the light hue, but then they have the regular and the medium hue. But it's just somewhere around the middle, I believe. On the next one, Alizarin Crimson. I'm not sure if I butchered that or something, but you know, it's still a beautiful, beautiful red. I love using this color. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so beauty. It's so beauty. So beautiful that I can't even, you know, words right now. <laughs> um, yeah. So I love it. I love using this for like flowers and floral. This is a regular alizarin. Alizarin? I don't know. Alizarin. I use. I, I, I pronounce it alizarin. So that's why I'm gonna pronounce it. I'm just gonna stick to it. And for the final color is my favorite. Just close this for a minute. It is burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is like my bread and butter. I use this thing for everything. For mixing and all that stuff it just gives everything just that right darkness without using black or something like that let's take a look at this beautiful beautiful paint so nice it's like brown and red it's like a, um, a red orange a really dark red orange i'm trying i'm struggling to, to close these Tubes. <laughs> okay. Now that we're done with the paint, it's time for the last and most anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Well, it's not really anticlimactic, but these are canvas panels. Canvas panels are like regular canvas, but they're panels, and they're really inexpensive, and they're really small. Great for portable carrying and all that stuff. These are 9 by 12 canvas panels and they are very good, um, they're, they're amazing quality, okay? Yeah, I really like the gesso on this. It's very well done. And um, you can write your name and everything like that, the title of your work, they gave me eight. So thank you so much for watching this video. This is my first unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys really do support my channel, I awfully appreciate it because um, I really love it when you guys, you know, comment on my work and, you know, uh, support me. It's, it's, it's 
that's really great. And this is what exactly what I want when I start my channel is to create a kind of a community, you know, try to try to communicate with other artists and people who enjoy art and think that stuff is cool. So it's trying to spark an interest and um, create creativity. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you want more videos like this more art videos, more exploration videos to inspire you. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye!